Hello, this is Liz. Welcome to my little urban homestead. A little shot of my back garden. Small space, but a lot growing. Here I have got pots of different herbs, chives, thyme, parsley and sage. I've also got some runner beans in a pot to go up the side of it. There are 30 leeks in this bed, which will easily see me and lurch over winter. Lick and potato soup. Mmm. And I'm growing potatoes, so that's footsteps, not air miles. Three courgette plants just starting now, and we'll be eating them fresh. And hopefully there'll be some as well that I can uh, preserve. I'll preserve them by freezing them. Believe it or believe it not, carrots in pots. I'm growing carrots. This large bed has half of it is my main crop potatoes. The other half is um, my sweet. I think in the US they're called Rudebaker. So I'll be able to do my own root mash with potatoes, sweet and carrots. Spring onions. These two are radishes, but they're starting to go over and go to seed. I don't mind them doing that. I can use the seed pods in stir fries and whatever I don't use go to the chickens this is my extras um, things I've planted and got more than I need so I've put them on here I may be able to find space for them I may not I've given some away I've started off some um, basil down there I'm going to do two sorts of pesto um, to carry me to next year which will be a pesto based with basil and the poor man's pesto which is nasturtium leaves I've got a few peas in pots but they're obviously just for eating fresh full sprout plants I have got more and I have got a bit of space so I think I will be putting them in the space that I've got. Six curly kale plants and yes there's nasturtiums everywhere, <laughs> same as there's bindweed everywhere, at least I can eat the nasturtiums. Here is six char plants which will go for me and Lurge and for the chickens as well. Along here is my salad new potatoes together with some runner beans and they're already starting to flower as you can see. So hopefully I'm going to go enough that we'll be eating fresh and I'll freeze some if I do have a bump crop of runner beans they're getting canned i'm going to have canned green beans as well down at the bottom end there is sweet corn and i've got two plants i didn't know what the seeds were sorry about the noise once every several months a helicopter may fly over why does it have to happen when i'm filming as i said <laughs> Sweet corn. The seeds, I didn't know if they were um, pumpkin or courgettes or what, so I put them in. Um, and I'll find out when or if they mature. And I've got beetroot down here. As you can see, I've got some space that I will put some of my overspiller plants. Rhubarb, I have picked some of it 
and you can see how wide can you see me hand there how wide these stems are I picked some when we've had some rhubarb crumble I did manage to um, split it divide it so I've got a little rhubarb plant there but I'm not taking from that this year it's just building for next year I have tomatoes in here and the stations I told you I've got the stations everywhere here in the greenhouse I have tomato plants and I thought by the time the tomatoes get bigger and even before uh, they started setting fruit the radishes that are sown in the middle I'll have harvested them and I'll probably put some down the sides but the tomatoes are in don't know how many I'm going to get I know what I'd like to do with them loads fresh loads for canning, uh, green tomato chutney mm. but this just shows you what you can grow in such a small garden really there's me apple tree there with apples just starting on it and that's a very good crop of areas that bit that looks like a jungle has got blackberries, red currants, black currants and gooseberries in. But I've done a lot on this garden this year. I'm, I'm saving some for next year to do. So that'll be next year's bit to do. And yeah, there's still a lot more that needs to be done. But can't do it all at once so I'm taking a few days off from it and also showing you what I've been doing this afternoon my first sourdough artisan bread and look at the crumb on that lovely and yes there is a slice gone because I just wanted to taste it and it's lovely Thank you. Bye.